Well, I think there's still a huge lack of funds for, for uh, families with autism. Uh, my husband always had to work two or three jobs. He was a Toronto firefighter for 30 years. He always had to work two or three jobs just to, to be able to keep ahead of, of things. And God's been really good to us as we learned the principles in, in God of tithing and stuff and giving. Yeah. And I was just saying, I will be leaving a check today for the Pakistan uh, crisis as well. But you know, as we began to give, God, God really helped us financially. But the financial burden for families who have children with autism is huge uh, because there's only help to a certain degree and it, it's hard to even explain there's a little bit of it's in the book mm -hmm. uh, just extraordinary things happen that uh, most families don't have to deal with and in the midst of, of limitless frustrations God shows up mm. in people like and Kaversens? Uh, and Kaversen. Kaversen? Yes. I mean, there's someone who is just a godsend. Mm -hmm. um, you did have a miracle with mm -hmm. Paul. Yes, we did. At one point, and mm -hmm. you believe God created some... Uh, it, it, there's no doubt about it. Uh, actually, uh, with the book comes a CD, and on the CD is a song I wrote about Paul, and then also a, a, a taping of that actual healing that took place. And uh, Paul could not learn anything. He just couldn't learn anything. And he would have been about 11 or 12 by this time, very frustrated because he's very bright, and he could not get educated. And uh, also, at that time, our government brought in Bill 82, I believe, and it stated that uh, the government was able to educate everybody. They just said it. They didn't really mean it, but uh, <laughs> it's like it, it didn't really happen. So we had lost funding for a, a private school where Paul had been doing quite well. And so anyway, it, it was really hard. We didn't know what to do. He could not, he could not gather the information. When he was eventually tested at one level, they said he is hearing the question, but he's not hearing it right. He's, so when he repeated the question, he would repeat the question incorrectly, but he would answer his own question correctly. Yeah. So there's not that there was an intellect there, there was some sort of a breakdown of receptors happening. So um, one night in a service, uh, God made new pathways in Paul's brain. And he was about 12 at the time, and 11 or 12, and we saw a marked difference after that. He started to be able to gather, gather knowledge. But he'd, lo he'd learned, he lost a lot. There was a lot of education that he'd lost at that point. How is this for the brother, for Mike, who's a <coughs> gifted musician? Mm -hmm. and Very difficult very difficult because and this is life sucking I mean yeah it was totally life sucking and and Mike uh, my older uh, child fantastic human being um, who was a, a almost like a perfect little guy <laughs> you know life for him with mom and dad or with mom and dad in him ended uh, because Paul's needs were really really all-consuming and it's hard because my my purpose at that point, Maura, even from when he was really little, was to make the best, make make the best for him, to make him into a great citizen, no matter what happened. And so, it, you know, we just you just can't let things go. You couldn't let things slide. You had to keep working at it. it amazes me. I've known you for years, Michelle, and just a little bit mm -hmm. about Paul uh, until today. But look what you've been doing on the side. Yeah, on the side. <laughs> you're, you're an ordained minister. You're supporting Canadian musicians. You, you're a speaker, and it, it, it just goes on and on. Um, God, God is the thread yes. through this whole story. Mm -hmm. And we just think that you should meet uh, this wonderful young man. Come on in here, Paul. We moved the table far enough back for s all six foot three of you to get in here. Thanks. Welcome. Thank you. You've been living independently for 10 years. Yep. And I am so impressed. I'm sure our viewers will be too. Yep. You got both your driver's license yep. and your motorcycle license. Well. First time? First pretty time. well, pretty well. I, I only have my like M2. So th that's sort of the, the, the uh, equivalent, uh, the same as uh, getting your G1, G2, and then your G license. So, but I was very lucky and fortunate. I got my uh, actual driver's license um, actually before they started the graduating license, so, which was really good actually. Excellent. And very interesting to learn that you had two years with famous people players. Yes, I did. The um, black, how do they say? Black, 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 black,
puppets, characters, yeah. Blacklight Theater. Yeah. Theater. Yeah. yeah. And uh, a number of different roles yeah. with that uh, troupe. Yeah. But you actually operated some of the bigger puppets. Yes, I did, because I was the, the, the tallest and the strong, <laughs> strongest. So I usually did the, the head and body part. I was delighted to read, because you, know, you and your mom, I'm sure dad too, I think it's probably a good thing you married a firefighter. Oh yes, rescue uh, guy. <laughs> rescue guy. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've learned some, some uh, tips too uh, of fire safety from my dad. I'll bet. <laughs> um, you've had some ups and downs with mom and dad. I have a little bit. A little bit. But in the interview, which is the last section of the book, mm -hmm. your mom interviews you and we have yeah. a an hilarious word for word discussion here. I love oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. You say that one of your favorite things is to bring your friends to do time with your mom and dad. Yeah, I, I really enjoy it. and. Uh, it's it's a great uh, experience to to uh, to have my friends over and just entertain. I think this is this the, the very special person hasn't changed. No. Um, on the back of the book is a great picture of your mom with um, maybe your best friend. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's his name? Finley. Finley. So you like to come home and do time with him as well. Yeah, I do actually. Paul. What are your biggest frustrations today, and how do you, how do you deal with them? Mm. You're not able to work, is that right? You're not no, able to I, get I, a I job. No, I, I can. I can. I actually, uh, I am working uh, again. Uh, I wasn't working for uh, a good portion, portion of the summer, all, all, uh, all summer. But uh, uh, basically, I just uh, decided to actually go back to work, which I, I work at a um, workshop for um, learning disabled people. Oh, good. And because um, I was working there before um, in the past, and I just decided, well, I, I was getting also bored, and I would like to get money and be mm -hmm. able to uh, afford some of my own stuff. What are your dreams for the future? Dreams? I hope to eventually uh, manage to um, maybe have a, a nice family and, you know, teach my kids what I've learned and that, maybe. Your mom says that you are a great prayer. I am. I'm a uh, my mom says that I am a real prayer uh, warrior, mm. and I am. So maybe we should give you some of our dreams before you get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> you've, you've changed your mom. She says in the book, you've, because of Paul, you've become an I choose to person. Mm -hmm. What is an I choose to person? Well, it's not I wanna, you know? <laughs> How many of us want to do things mm -hmm. <laughs> that are difficult? Mm -hmm. But because of Paul, he, he's just built my character up so much over the years that there's lots of things that God may ask me to do, and I go, I don't really want to do that. But I can now, I, I, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If something's mm -hmm. presented before me, this has been the most important thing uh, that I can do. I can do anything and do it well. Do it well. And I think one of the sweetest things is that through many trials, Mm -hmm. uh, on many levels, <laughs> relational, financial, uh, circumstantial, something very sweet has come. You, you love one another. Mm -hmm. You enjoy one another. Yeah. And uh, I, I, the, the book you didn't want to write. I thought um, mm -hmm. Psalm 102, verse 18, let this be written for a future generation that a people not yet created may praise the Lord and those traveling the road of autism. This will be an encouragement. It's raw real, I will warn you. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, yeah, it's the real deal. And That's where right. is it available, Michelle? Uh, through my website, michellesim.com. Uh, you can go there and you can get it through PayPal. And my other contact information is on there. So if you're local in the GTA, you're welcome to give me a call and we can do that as well. Thank you both for being willing to share the whole journey. It's going to bless others. And Michelle, especially for, 
for championing our Canadian artists. Thank you. Doing that for My you. My pleasure, truly.